and it concerns two indicators, Warren, that you uh, have discussed in the past about the general level of the stock market. The first one is the percentage of total market cap relative to the U.S. GNP, which you have said is probably the best single measure of where valuations stand at any given moment. This indicator is at about 125%. That is, um, uh, that is the, re the ratio of total market cap to U.S. GNP. And that's about what it was when Warren talked about this back in 1999, uh, just before the, uh, not sh shortly before the bubble broke. Um, the second indicator, which you mentioned in a famous 1999 speech uh, that subsequently became um, a, an article in Fortune, is the corporate profits, is corporate profits as percent of GNP. You had said at the time that that, that number ranged between 4% to 6.5% over a long period of time, which I believe was 1951 to 1999. Well, as of Friday, it is about 10.5% according to the Federal Re uh, St. Louis Federal Reserve site. That is way above the range you had mentioned. Are the current levels of either one or both of these indicators a matter of concern for the general investing republic? Yeah. Well, the, it might be the second figure, which is the, per, the profits as a percentage of GDP, might be a concern for other segments of society because what it indicates is that American business has done wonderfully well uh, in recent years, and, and though it t says how, what a terrible disadvantage it has because of U.S. tax rates <clears throat> and a host of other things, uh, you know, the facts are that American business has prospered incredibly. And the first comparison uh, is very much affected by the fact that we live in an interest rate environment, which Charlie and I probably would have thought was almost impossible uh, not too many years ago. And obviously, profits uh, are worth a whole lot more uh, if the government bond yield is 1% than they're worth if the government bond yield is 5%. And, uh, so it gets back, and you know, Charlie in that movie talked about alternatives and opportunity cost. And for many people, the opportunity cost is is owning a lot of bonds, which pay practically nothing, or owning stocks, which are selling at fairly high prices historically, but they weren't selling at those historic prices with interest rates like this. So I would not. I I I, I look at those numbers. But I also look at them in the context of the fact that we're, we're living in a world that, that has incredibly low interest rates. And the question is, is how long those are going to prevail? Is it going to be something like Japan that goes on decade after decade? Uh, or will we be back to what we thought was normal interest rates? If we get back to what are normal interest rates, stocks at these prices will look pretty high. If we continue with these kind of interest rates, stocks will look very cheap. And now I've given you the answer, and you can take your pick. <laughs> Charlie? Well, since we failed to predict what happened uh, and what exists now, why would anybody ask us what our prediction is in the future? <laughs> yeah. we, incidentally, the one thing I can assure you, Charlie and I, to my knowledge, or my memory, uh, I can't recall ever us making an acquisition or turning down one uh, based on macro factors. That uh, you know, and, and, and we 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 talk about deals when they came come along, but whether it was C's candy or whatever it might have been, the Burlington Northern we bought at a terrible time, uh, general economic conditions. But we don't talk; it just doesn't come up because we don't. We know we don't know what, the next 12 months, 24 months, 30, we, we know we don't know what that's going to look like, but it doesn't really make any difference if we're buying a business to hold 
for 100 years. What we have to do is figure out what's likely to be the average profitability of the, the business over time and how strong its competitive mode is and that sort of thing. So uh, people have trouble believing that. They think we talk about it. We think any company that has an economist, you know, certainly uh, has one employee too many. Uh, <laughs> Charlie, yeah. Do you think of anything rude to say that I haven't said? <laughs> well, it would be hard to top that one. <laughs> okay. 